Simple and Delicious. My name is Jessica, and today I'm super excited to be doing a collab video with my friend Alicia over at Happily Ever Minimal. Today we are sharing with you a kitchen tag, which is gonna give you a little bit closer look into our kitchen and some of our favorite things that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. I hope you will go over and check out her channel. I'll put links below to her video as well as her channel, and I hope that you subscribe to her channel. She has really awesome videos. She does organizing, minimalist videos, recipes, as well as haul videos. So go check out her channel, and I'll leave links to that below. So without further ado, I'm gonna share with you my kitchen tag today, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And thanks to Alicia for collabing with me. And let's get started, guys. So the first question on the kitchen tag is, does your kitchen have a theme or specific colors? Basically, the theme of my kitchen is things that I like. Um, I've tried to incorporate reds and blues and then a little bit of gray, um, kind of like the retro red color. Um, and I just like to incorporate things from maybe places that we visited together or places that we enjoy. Um, and then I just put, I just like putting in things that I love. I don't really feel like my kitchen has any specific theme. It's just basically all the things that I love. And I thought I would share a couple of those with you. One of my favorite things is this little art print that I purchased in Amish country, Ohio. And it just has a scripture on it, Psalms 34 and 8. Um, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. It's just a good reminder day to day um, of the blessings of the Lord. And I just love this scripture and I love this picture of this um, the little lady with her pie. I think it's adorable. Something else that I really, really love is this little plaque here from King's Arms. This is from a restaurant in Williamsburg, Virginia. My husband and I like Williamsburg. I grew up going to Williamsburg and love it very much. So it's just a good reminder of happy times and visiting with family. Of course, one of my other favorite things is Disney World. <laughs> and these are little trash can salt and pepper shakers. If you've ever been to Disney, you know that each land in Magic Kingdom has separate trash cans to match the land or the theme of the land. So this one on the right is from Main Street USA, and the one on the left is Adventureland. So I love my trash cans. <laughs> so question number two is share some of your favorite kitchen gadgets. So I have four that I wanted to share with you. The first one is this cookie scoop. If you have never had a cookie scoop, it is the most amazing thing. If you've ever struggled to bake cookies and get them off of a spoon, you would appreciate the beauty of a cookie scoop. I picked this one up actually in Amish country, Ohio, and I've been very pleased with it, and it is one of my favorite things. Also, if you have never had a lettuce knife, this is a lettuce knife, and if you don't know, I guess the metal in lettuce makes your lettuce turn and wilt faster. So this is actually, it's very sharp, surprisingly. I've cut myself with it before. This is a plastic knife that is just for cutting lettuce and it keeps your lettuce. So when I cut my lettuce up and I put it in the fridge, it will stay for days, which is awesome. So this is a lettuce knife. This is also a mini spatula. I purchased this from Pampered Chef. If you've never heard of Pampered Chef, it's like a house um, party that you can hold in your home, which it's super, super fun. You choose recipes, they cook the recipes for you and they share their um, kitchen, you know, there's anything from like dishes to kitchen gadgets to actual like pots and pans. Um, it's very inexpensive and I feel like it's very affordable for the value that you get. So this is, um, I purchased this before I got married. This is just a small spatula. I use this all the time. It is the perfect size for everything. Pies, desserts, whatever you need. It is the perfect size. I actually would like to have two of them. I use it all the time. And then my fourth thing is this little chopper. This is a Proctor and Silex. My mom actually gave this to me when I got married. She purchased it for me. And it's just a little chopper. You can use it for salsa. You can use it as a little food processor. You can use it for onion. I use it for everything. It's super easy, super convenient. You just lift this off and you can just put the whole entire thing in the dishwasher when you're finished. And as you can see, the blade comes out as well. So this is definitely one of my favorite things in my kitchen, very inexpensive. I'll try to put a link to this below um, and try to put a link to um, a similar cookie scoop and lettuce knife as well. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite things. And if you don't have one of these, 
it's so convenient to have just a little small one like this. So I think you guys would enjoy this one. Number three is do you have an old plate cupper item that has sentimental value you can't bear to get rid of? I would have to say none of these items, I don't feel like super attached to them, but I love them. I would never get rid of them. The first one is this blue aqua colored bowl. My mom actually gave this to me. She has had this for years and years and years since I was a little girl. Um, I said, Mom, you don't ever use that. Can I have it? And she said, yes, this is the best bowl. It is perfect for popcorn. It is perfect for a cake mix. I love this bowl. It is just Pyrex um, glass. It's glass, but it is my favorite bowl. I love this bowl. I will never get rid of it. I hope it never breaks. I think it's my husband's favorite popcorn bowl too. So definitely this bowl. And then I'm not a super like, I love to get souvenirs from places that I visit, but I don't buy like crazy stuff. I usually buy like a mug or like paper or something I can use in my office. <clears throat> so I thought I would share a few of the mugs that I purchased. So these two are from Disney. They're matching green for me, blue for my husband. I bought these actually before we were even married. Um, on a trip that I went and he didn't get to go actually but I love these cups these are two of my favorites um, another one from Disney is this one from the Disney Cruise Line it looks like the smokestack on the Disney cruise ships and then the other one is this one with his initial on it and it just says Walt Disney in the back I love the insides of the cups as well their cups hold up really really well they don't chip they, I wash them in the dishwasher. They're very durable and they hold up super, super well. Number four is what's the newest item you've purchased for your kitchen? And I'm gonna share that with you. So it's this salad spinner. I just purchased this at Aldi because mine broke, which was super, super sad, but I like the compactness of this. Um, as you can tell, I have salad in it right now. This is the insert. This is actually what you put inside. And then what you do is you spin it and it puts the water out and then you can actually just pull this out with the salad dump your water and then what I usually do is just keep my salad inside of this in the fridge and it keeps very very nicely so I believe this was $6.99 which is a super good deal and they should still have this because I just bought this like two weeks ago so number five share your worst looking dish towel I have two I would like to share with you I have a lot of bad looking dish towels this is one of them this is from Disney it is brown I'm not really showing sure if it's showing up on camera it used to be black but it's brown now. My mother-in-law bought this for me and gave it to me at my bridal shower. She gave me a couple of them. I love them, I use them all the time, and they've been great. And then this is another one I bought before I got married. And as you can tell, this is actually clean, <laughs> but it's pretty embarrassing. I don't know, I think it might need to, to find a new home in the trash can, but yeah. It just has coffee on the front of it, and it's been very well loved. Number six is share your favorite fridge magnet. So these are some of my favorites. I have one from the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, which I love, and then I have a few from Disney. One from the Disney Cruise Line, and this one that's a little Italian Donald, which I really love. So those are some of my favorites. I also love this liquid measure equivalence magnet. This is really great if you're cooking and you just need to quickly um, look something up. This is super convenient. I keep this actually on the front of my fridge and that's the only magnet that I keep on the front of my fridge. So number seven is do you have a favorite cookbook? Yes, besides Pinterest, my favorite cookbook is the Taste of Home Cookbook. It looks just like this. Sorry about the glare. I'll try to turn it here so you can see it. It's a brown cookbook. It has beautiful, beautiful pictures. It has everything you could ever want to cook in one cookbook. This is perfect for someone who's not really into cooking and is trying to kind of learn how to cook. This is a perfect, perfect cookbook. And it's just great to have on hand, like if you are just trying to come up with something really quick with the ingredients that you already have. This is an awesome cookbook. I'll share with you one of my favorite recipes. This is called the Denver Omelet. Um, I have used this recipe many, many times, like when we've had visitors for breakfast. It is a delicious egg recipe that's kind of like a quiche, but without a crust and I love that recipe. I'll try to link it below if I can find it on their website. So yes, the Taste of Home Cookbook is by far my favorite. So number eight is name a last minute emergency meal that you always have on hand. Definitely spaghetti. Number nine is describe a few things in your dream kitchen. Well, a couple things that we would like to do is a backsplash and hopefully a new floor. We'd like to do a new floor in our kitchen as well as our entryway, hopefully soon. And then number 10 is, do you have any 
I've seen on TV gadgets or appliances. No, I do not. Um, and number 11, do you have a gadget or appliance you believe was a waste of money? I would say the only thing that I feel like maybe was a waste of money is when we first got married, we got a lot of duplicates of things that I thought maybe I could use, but found out later I didn't have the space to keep. So I gifted those items to friends and such, and they've been using them like Corningware, Pyrex, that kind of thing. I got a lot of duplicates for my wedding showers, and I was able to give those to friends. So um, they are being used and loved. But I would say that's maybe like the only thing that I feel was a waste of money that I had. So I want to thank Alicia from Happily Ever Minimal for doing this kitchen tag with me. It was so much fun to share with you guys. I hope it was enjoyable for you, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching Simple and Delicious, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks, guys. Bye.